Hmm? <laughs> How's it going? Huh? I'm terribly sorry. Sure. Welcome back everyone. As soon as we were trying to leave the castle, this joker came in. Right. Broody the clown. Hmm. to me. He was far much more easier than any other fighters that I have fought. No. <sighs> sure. The other kings have just Georgia. arrived. Fighting the four kings became a side mission. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Right. Thank you very much. No. Sorry about that. <sighs> hmm. So that means we yeah. can still come back to the castle. Stories. <laughs> yes. The stories. Finally, not the main story. It's getting late. Let's get back to the main story. Task is yes. Rest at our coming. Okay. Also, uh, I'm recording this video on the last Join day you. that this game is going to be listed on the Game Pass, Xbox Game Pass. So it's still it's free till today only. Or this is why game I will finish today. Maybe something will happen. Side story we will completely ignore. We will go back to the main story and follow that. I have to rest at a calmer place, so I will rest and won't do any side stories. Let's go to the book center to meet Nishitani and hopefully take his head off. कमाई भी हो गया अपने को गोल्ड के लिए ही आकामे का नेटवर्क जो है वो लेवल करना है। हम लेवल एट पहुंचे हैं। It's going to take a long time to reach platinum in the Colosseum. So forget about all the side things and let's focus on the main event. The Gold Center. Uh, so we have A Kijin clan welcoming party, huh? I was told your captain would be meeting me here. Captain? Well, that'd be me. And you see, while this is hello, it'll also be goodbye. So that's an issue. Captain Givoy's more hot for here. What? Is he too busy to come see to things himself? Even if that was his wish, we can't allow him to do that. That man's an Omi Alliance officer, you know. Taking you on be much too dangerous now. Ain't that right? Kazuma Kiryu. The guy with that name is already dead. <laughs> All right, then. We'll kill you till you stay dead. Is 
y dos no das duro no tell me how'd you know I'd be here we cast a pretty wide net round Osaka you know these Kijin clan boys they came from a place he was more buff so that means patriarch Nishitani's there too now hold up if that's the case let's just take the car and get out of here <laughs> oh come that's on now fun in that. let's warm up with these bitches first you little put your car up bitch but the sound is the right one Like a couple old buddies. Who'd have thought? Was this a good idea? Roughing up Kijin clan members for all to see? It's not a good look for you. Well, that's why I got this mask. And besides, once we crush Patriarch Nishitani, no one can say shit about us. We just gotta do it quick, you and me. What does Cerno think about this? The cap's the one who tracked down Nishitani and sent me here. Said today's the day we put a stop to him. Gotta do it before he takes off again. Right. Huh. Now let's go give him an old school beatdown. I'm ready to roll. Wasn't sure if you knew Kiryu-san, but Patriarch Nishitani, he came up in the Jing'an Mafia. He did. You remember them? Korean gang that tangled with the Tojo for years, and lost. He's one of their few survivors after they were gone for good. The other members all split off, and Nishitani covered up his past, started fresh in the Yakuza as a Japanese. He worked his way up. Left a trail of blood behind him, too. Tough, mean motherfucker. Once he was high enough on the ladder, he finally told everyone the truth. By that point, nobody in the Omi had the balls to say shit about it. Sure as hell not to the Kijin clan patriarch's face. No matter where you're from, the top Yakuza only gets there by being the toughest swinging dick around. Why tell me this? Ain't you have your own part in putting the Jing on in the ground? 
Nishitani learned you were the dragon of Dojima, and now he's a dog with a bone. He could murder you a hundred times over and still hold a grudge. Bet there's plenty more just like him, aren't there? Then I'll die as many times as I have to. <laughs> also, you can protect those scamps back in Okinawa, huh? They've got nothing to do with you. Leave them out of this. <laughs> My bad. Guess we're not as good of buddies as I thought. The Kijin clan's hideout is in the back of the warehouse. Used to be managed by an Omi Alliance front. So you've been here before, then. If you've got a plan, spit it out already. <laughs> Neither of us like the runaround, do we? Well, Patriarch Nishitani's office is up there on the top floor. So the plan is we bust in the front, smack down any fools in our way, then beat the Patriarch to an inch of his life. Nah, we'll wing the rest. Not a bad plan. But are you sure you want to do this? Wasn't Ishitani the model Kansai Yakuza in your eyes? Gotta go above and beyond the ones you look up to. That's real maturity. Can't stay a starry-eyed kid forever. If we weren't about to get our hands dirty, that almost sound poetic. What took you so long, Kiryu? Can't remember the last time someone fucked me this hard. This time I'm going right for the jugular. Better make this worth our while, Kijin clan. Ain't that right, Joryu? Yeah, let's do this. How about this? Let us do it. <laughs> हेल्थ थोड़ा ज्यादा नहीं है You boys got any idea where the fuck you are? Yeah. <laughs> 
put you both in the group. Come on, he's tried. डॉलिंग अबे भाई मेरे को ही मार रहा है ये तो तू ही मार ले पहले trying to stop us with i got more where that came from One with gun, one with hammer. You are the last one. Thanks. 
goddamn brutal. <laughs> hmm. Damn thing broke. Finally. Patriarch Nishitani's office is above us. Time to give him what's coming. I know we didn't do this with the Hatara Sarah. Hey, Fenet. Health is not a good thing. I don't know if I'm short. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. गेम में हीरो बनने का शौक से फर्स्ट एंड जीरियो को है तो क्या नहीं? शिशो, the building's on fire. Watase family associates are torching the place on Suno's orders. Suno, he's here too. Not the time. We got a job to finish before the place burns down. Been waiting for you two. <laughs> you in the Hanya mask. Did you really think you'd fool me? Huh, Shishido? Guess nothing gets by you. What are you trying to pull? What do you guys get out of the Omi tearing itself apart from the inside? What do we get? Well, the castle was a nice, shiny prize. Captain Serino was mighty pleased too. <laughs> but that was the cold, was it? And if you wanted money, the Watase family's already ranking it in. Whatever you wanted. Guess you wanted it bad enough to make an enemy out of the Kijin clan. It's late in the game, huh? And it doesn't even have shit to do with Cosmo Kiryu being alive. <laughs> right, Kiryu? Enough with the charade. Show me your whole face. I knew it! The dragon of Dojima! Well, fuck. I wish I could have bashed your head in while you were still in your prime. Shishido, he's mine. Don't you lift a finger. Got it. Show me how it's done, then. And what about you, Shishido? How are you connected to Kiryu? I take it Surino's in on this, too. So the Watase family captain really agreed to this. Does it really matter now? Huh? I'm about to beat you to a bloody pulp. Nothing personal. It's just a job. Besides... Our last brawl left a bad taste in both our mouths, right? You don't seem to think you lost to me, and now you think you can win. So nothing's been settled. Yeah, it's already settled, right. I won. <laughs> None of that other shit matters now, does it? The only thing I want to hear is the two of you begging for your lives. So scream good, you hear me? Oh, this kid is good. Wait. 
to toss that I guess एक शॉट दे रहा मैं स्ट्राइकर कर जा Knife was given too much damage. Kill you, son. We can get out this way. All right. Give me a hand. Nishitani's coming with us. The guy knows exactly who you are now. He ain't forgetting what you did to the Jingon. Just leave him there. Shut up. Just help me. Uh, God damn it. The fire escapes that way. Open the door! I got Nishitani! alive much easier for us if he's dead what about Suruno's words just shut it what's done is done besides captain Suruno knows all about this he knew this <laughs> Suruno, you bastard! You were planning to kill Nishitani all along? Why? There was no need to go that far! Afraid I disagree. He had to die. He wasn't worth sparing. Nishitani, he... What? A long while back, a young soldier ditched the family. He'd worked under me. The kid was a troublemaker. Former bike gang member, only 20 years old at the time. Leaving the family without permission is a major offense. And going too easy on him would have set a bad precedent. But he was still a kid. So I pretended to look for him, all the while planning to let it slide. And then... Nishitani said, he's gotta pay. Took it on himself to track the kid down. It wasn't even his family. He just heard about it from someone. Probably wanted to impress my boss. Everyone knew I planned to let it slide. By the time I heard the news and rushed over, his fingernails had been ripped out, his nose sliced off, belly covered in cuts and burns, Nishitani's trademark torture routine. Kid was beyond saving. Nishitani was going to finish by burying him alive up in the mountains. And that's when I... I put him out of his misery with a bullet to the head. Kid didn't need to suffer no more. The Patriarchs tormented me plenty. In the Kijin clan's Coliseum, the losers and weaklings got pulled out. Then the Patriarch gave him the full treatment the Cap just mentioned. You had to do whatever it took to survive. That's why I already regret what I just did. 
He got off too easy. Should have taken my time before sending him to hell. I agreed the second I heard the boss wanted to disband the Yakuza. But not for the higher-ups tortured reasoning. There are other reasons why the Yakuza need to die out. Be better if we disappeared, then give monsters like Nishitani a chance to have their way. All this would have been more convincing if you hadn't just tricked me into being an accomplice to murder. Could be. We're monsters who ought to disappear too. We may act like we're better than the rest, but our shit stinks just as bad. Anyways, well done, boys. We destroyed the head of the Kijin clan. Now we wait for our boss to be released. Ain't that right? Hey, yeah, let's right. do this. No, oh, he's still alive. That's the twist and the end of chapter 4. We are now going towards the final chapter of the game. Joryu, I've just received word from Surano-san. Amara Nishitani III is dead, and the Kijin clan's base is burned down. Surano was planning on killing him all along. Yes. Eliminating Nishitani was necessary before the Omi Alliance's dissolution. No better way to guarantee his absence than death. You were the only one who didn't want that. I wonder. Disbanding the Omi Alliance and Tojo clan at the same time won't be bloodless. Killing Nishitani keeps it to a minimum. Can't make an omelet without breaking an egg. That the idea. People in charge love that one. I suppose so. Remember that the Kijin clan are hitmen. Practically the bosses of them. Nishitani had a lot of blood on his hands. If his death helps us, then so be it. You think Watase and Daigo will feel the same way? I'm sure they'll understand, at the very least. They sit above tens of thousands in their organizations. I imagine they had to make ruthless calculations on a daily basis. Would you impose some kind of penalty on Surano for his involvement in this? No, you wouldn't. I just stopped by to report in that this part of the job's done. If you already heard it from Suno, I have nothing more to add. At any rate, the biggest barrier to the Omi's dissolution is gone now. All that's left is to wait for Watase's release, then watch as the Yakuza become a thing of the past. Why don't you leave Sotenbori for a bit? You just need to be back the day before Watase gets out. You're asking me to hole up at the temple? Not immediately. Go ahead and tie up any loose ends first. You must be exhausted. I suggest you stay with Akame-san tonight. Is she like a bomb diffuser for them, Akame? And we are the bomb. Well, that took a sad turn. Yonki, Joryu never want to participate in any form of killing.
Well, obviously, this is the last chapter of this game. Some people will die. And I would recommend each and every one of you to be prepared for it. Because that will happen. I'll just directly go and rest. Let us head back to the temple. I can't wait to talk about some money. No doubt, no, no. that is important. Who are you? Oh, you're a saint. Nothing I'm doing right now. I come. I come. Chale. Chale. Mandir me. Ghanta ho jaane. Yaar. Subha subha. Send me the temple. Would you mind returning to the temple for a bit? Yeah, I've got nothing left to do. I'm not surprised. You'll be leaving Osaka for a while then. Just sit tight until Watase is released. I will. As Juryu, I don't want to be a part of any of this. You want me to the face when Watase announced that Omi Alliance is done? I'll do that.
the fuck? What do you mean we don't have as much booze as we thought? Ah, forget it. Just bring everything we got. I'll make it worth your while. And then some. No shit. Soren Ohan. Been too long, man. Busy lately, I take it? I've been, yeah. After tomorrow, I can finally relax. Really? But the chairman's finally stepping down when Captain Watase gets back. We'll be celebrating that tomorrow, too. Ain't the Watase family back to be even busier? <laughs> Suppose you got me there. But still, Patriarch Nishitani would have been the one cheering loudest for Captain Watase taking the reins. But now look where we are. Patriarch got iced in a goddamn raid, and nobody can find this Joryu guy who did it. You ask me, I'd want to know what the fuck's going on. We're all on the hunt for the asshole. Burns my guts what happened. I owe a lot to the late Patriarch. Oh, him. You. What? I say something weird? I guess in his way he did take a liking to you, didn't he? Yeah, the Patriarch rode your ass like a prize pony. But at least it made you tough as nails, huh? Boy, I bet he broke you real good. Mind and body both. He was the model Kanzai Yakuza. It was an honor, him taking a liking to me. <laughs> the boss must be bent out of shape over Nishitani too. So put on a happy face when we meet him, all right? <laughs> was already gonna. See ya. Tell you what makes me bent out of shape is lying to fellow Omi. We'll suck it up. You think my ass ain't on the line here, too? He'll be the first one to blow when the announcement's made. Honestly, I can't tell who's gonna do what tomorrow. <laughs> Been a while since I felt this kind of chill down my spine. What about Kiryu-san? Still with the Daidoji. Should be coming back to Osaka soon. Only one day left. It's finally upon us, Kiryu-san. I'm meditating. Very well. Don't mind me, then. It's all right. Nice thing about meditation is you can do it any time, any place. The Daidoji once found the news of the Yakuza's dissolution unimportant. But the winds have changed course, haven't they? Hmm? I wasn't sure if you knew. Governor Ryo Aoki has ousted Ogi Kubo Sensei and succeeded him as chair of the Citizens Liberal Party. Politician by day, Yakuza puppeteer by night. That's how he got the authority to fit the collar snug over the Omi and Tojo both. He's young, and he's after sweeping power. Of course, the Daidoji are none too pleased with that. But the dissolution of the Omi Alliance tomorrow would also be a big blow to Aoki. So? So, that means the job you're doing will be beneficial to the faction. And when you factor in the 50 billion in assets we received from the Watase family, you've done more for the Daidoji than anyone. <laughs> and they called you a freeloader. You know, it looks cheap to let money do all the talking. You're also owed a debt of gratitude for saving my life. Though I suppose that's my own cross to bear. What's with you? You're awful misty-eyed today. Close communication between workers and management is fundamental to an organization's smooth operation. Better write that one down. On that note, once your work is finished, I think you ought to relax for a while. I'll start pestering my superiors to get you a reward of some kind. A reward? It must drive you crazy to be stuck in here. How about a vacation, all by yourself? It'd be a nice change of pace. Naturally, you'll avoid Okinawa and Kamurocho. But we'll try to accommodate anywhere else you'd like to go. A vacation, huh? I gather this isn't something you think about often. But give it a try. Is there anywhere you might like to visit? Well... I've always wanted to go to Hawaii. 
Any particular reason? Something Yumi said once. She wanted to get married there. It just came out one day while we were goofing around. You mean Yumi Sawamura, I take it. Haruka Sawamura's mother. The love of your life. The Nala Hill Memorial Church. Hmm? Yumi always talked about going there when she was working nights in the city. She'd grown up way out in the country, at an orphanage called Sunflower. And this church? It's in Hawaii? Before I die, I'd like to leave Japan. And bring this there. It's the only gift I've ever given her. I had no idea. You were such a romantic, Kiryu-san. Anawa. Yes? That's personal. Right. Oh, sorry to pry. Bad habit of mine. We were never engaged. Back then, I... I just couldn't ever tell her how I felt. By the time I finally found the words, she was on her deathbed. <sighs> Curious, huh? Forget I said anything. Hawaii just popped into my head, that's all. Besides, we've got tomorrow to worry about first. Who knows what'll happen when a room full of Yakuza hear about the dissolution. Your reward doesn't need to be Hawaii. It doesn't even need to be travel. Is there anything else that you want? I'm the man who erased his life and his name. I don't want anything. Even if I did, for that. you couldn't give it to me. Truthfully, I do know what you want. But the one thing I can't do is let you see the kids in Okinawa. Yeah, I know. Why back to Akame? Finish your business in Sultan Bori. Abey, ye business settle karna jaungo to pagla jaungo na to. Chalo, Akame ke paas chalte hain. Most probably it will solve or not. अरे यार डेड एंड There's one bit of information that I just got. Was this particular part of the game was developed in only six months? Yeah. Why it's a turn around time, guys? Because the first part, you know, people thought that this was DLC of the first part, and when they got to know that this is a full-fledged game, they were surprised because of the time that it took. Ready for this. 
चलो कामे को बाय बोलते हैं दैट इज द ओनली बिजनेस दैट वी शुड हैव विद हर राइट नाउ बाय कामे देयर यू आर यू आर हियर टू सुरनो व्हाई आर यू हियर या बीन वेटिंग फॉर यू श्योर हैज प्रैक्टिकली वाल्ट्ज्ड इन लाइक ही ओन द प्लेस एंड सेड ही वुड वेट टिल यू शोड इवन दो आई टोल्ड हिम आई वाज वर्किंग बीन अ रियल पेन इन माय ass ओ फकिंग राइट ऑलरेडी क्विट योर यैपिंग विल यू So what is it? What brought you here? Don't worry, nothing major. Just thought I'd give you a rundown about tomorrow. Got some stuff to explain. Not here though. We'll meet the boss tomorrow at a construction site on the edge of Sotembori. Gonna be fresh out of the joint. We'll slap a suit on him. Then head to Omi Alliance HQ. Does he know I'm coming? Yeah, our lawyers filled him in, told him all about you, including that you were with us when we off to Nishitani. You did, huh? And about that, I'm sorry I kept you in the dark. So that's what you wanted to explain. Don't get me wrong, I got no regrets about it happening. If I could do it over, I'd still kill him. But I tricked you into getting your hands dirty. Then I told you he was a piece of shit that got always coming to him. Didn't even apologize neither. Well, from where I'm sitting now, I think that was pretty lousy. After tomorrow, I'm going to be an ex yakuza. No rank, no title. Getting a bow from that kind of nobody probably don't do much for you. But still, I'm real goddamn sorry. You and me, we've both led the life. We've been told time and again that sorry's not good enough. So you bow, but you don't really expect to be forgiven. Am I wrong? We'll carry the weight of the things we've done for the rest of our lives. Not like we have any other choice. That's not going to change when the Omi and Tojo are broken up either. So I take it I don't have your forgiveness, then, eh? Huh? Lift your head up already. You made your point. No. It stays down until you say you forgive me. Fine. You're forgiven. Really? So, that all you wanted to talk about? No, I do have one piece of good news. Hmm. Some intruders showed up at Omi HQ not too long ago. One of them used to be Tojo. Name's Ichiban Kasuga. You know him? Just got out of prison after 18 years. I think I've heard of him. I was locked up at that time too. But he was in a different prison. Any idea why he'd break into Omi HQ? Kasuga used to work for Masumi Arakawa. Like a lost dog, he went right on back to Kamurocho after he got out. And that's when Arakawa shot him. Shot him. Remember Arakawa is pretending to be a Tojo trader in front of the Omi Alliance. Had to shoot his own former loyal in cold blood just to keep up the act. If he didn't, some other Omi probably would have killed the guy anyway. But Arakawa hit him so he just barely survived. Shot him to save him, more or less. Hell of a stunt. Then Kasuga found out about Arakawa's true intentions, the dissolution plan, everything. So once he got the call from his precious papa Arakawa-san, he came running over to Osaka. He'll be on our side at the announcement tomorrow. Will he make for good muscle? Hmm. <laughs> Here he went toe to toe with Goro Majima and Taiga Saejima. Of course, Kasuga had a handful of buddies with him. You weren't kidding about the good news. No one knows what'll happen once the cat's out of the bag. Not many guys around we can trust, you know. 
but Patriarch Watase and the Tojo Clan's sixth chairman are ready for every Omi in that room to see this as a declaration of war. Our job is to protect the two of them and see the dissolution through. Understood. If they're in a tight spot, I'll step in. That 50 billion included a bodyguard fee, didn't it? We're much obliged. Take your time and rest up for tomorrow, Kiryu-san. I don't want to finish up anything. So we are finally reaching the end of the game so I will end this video right here because it has gone for very very long right we will see the game's climax in the next video and end the game today only thanks for joining guys I hope you are enjoying the journey of Jory.